discouragement, fear, failure. Only a few years ago, these stalked the nation. Depression haunted America. We groped, we struggled, we found the way to better times. Today, depression is a fading memory. Millions of men and women have found employment and with it, confidence and hope. program has removed a vast army from relief rolls. It revived lagging industry, restored morale, and renewed courage. In a program which covers the entire nation, Chicago takes an important place. Local conditions determine projects, engineering surveys develop plans, and manpower does the work. In Chicago, street improvements trail behind traffic increase, sewage systems are inadequate for the city's growth. Thus, while thousands find gainful employment, the city's welfare is served. The works program has assisted in the development of the city's lakefront area, a front yard for five million people, a part of Chicago's excellent plan for park improvements. Known everywhere for its scientific collections is the Field Museum. Here experienced workers, many of them trained specialists, reconstruct animals for studies in biology and zoology. On another front, airport development goes forward. Vital to safety are the longer runways, broader fields, and more efficient drain systems being provided at Chicago's great airport. Adjacent to Outer Drive, which was improved under the works program, Lincoln Park Extension is being developed as a further contribution to the betterment of the city's great park system. In keeping with the spirit of a century of progress, the site of the World Fair will be rededicated as a vast public domain. Men and machinery will transform this barren land into a magnificent park whose 5,000 acres will be maintained for the enjoyment of the public. Other parks have also been improved and beautified. This field house serves Wilson Park. Unsightly buildings, dangerous and unsanitary, come crashing to the ground as the works program clears the way for a great housing project. Named for Chicago's beloved Jane Addams, this housing development will lead the way to better living conditions for families of low income. Almost a thousand families will find modern apartments at modest rents when this model becomes a reality. A zoo, spacious and intelligently planned, has been completed on the west side. Here, the Broad Works program provided many jobs during construction and continues to furnish work to a staff of employees. The educational features of the zoo are combined with wholesome pleasure brought to both children and adults. of many public buildings and institutions are being decorated by mural painters. Under the works program, artists, musicians, actors, and writers contribute their share to the cultural development of the community. Death and destruction on the highways, daily repetitions of accidents and collisions have long been a serious problem to Chicago. In cooperation with the Chicago Police Department, 18 service stations have been established with the aid of WPA labor in a campaign to reduce the terrifying motor casualty list. The laws of Illinois require an annual inspection for every car for mechanical defects at one of these stations. Under the supervision of expert mechanics, every safety device is carefully checked for perfect operation.
After a final inspection, the official seal of approval is attached to the car, certifying that one more hazard has been eliminated from the highways and another safe car rolls off the inspection line. Chicago fires cost lives and fortunes. The Stockyard Holocaust of 1934 recalls a menace which united men against a common enemy. This grain elevator fire laid waste to a huge industrial enterprise. Within the boundaries of Chicago, last year's fire loss totaled almost $4 million. prevention is underway as hundreds of workers demolish old buildings and tear down fire traps, many thousands of them. Playgrounds and cleared lots will result from this program. Thousands of city children will find places to play and new outlets for their energies. An interesting phase of WPA activity in Chicago is the operation of a group of nursery schools where children of working or needy mothers are cared for during the day, given hot lunches, and guided in their play by trained teachers. The public schools have provided space for many of these day nurseries, and the presence of experienced directors ensures the best of care and training for members of the youngest generation. This is part of a broad educational program in which WPA has helped millions of children and adults. Today's investment promises dividends in future good citizenship. The works program looks to the future as well as the present. Throughout the city, pools and playgrounds provide jobs for workers in many trades, both in construction and in maintenance. Hundreds of recreation supervisors, once on the relief rolls, now serve their city and their country. In this progressive program, every effort is bent toward enriching the lives of the people and building sound bodies and minds for our future citizens. Long after depression is forgotten, these developments will remain as part of a better Chicago. <laughs> 